Hello, how are you doing? I want to do a video today on this pharmacia. I mentioned it um, in my last video and I wasn't quite sure where it was and somebody told me it is actually in Revelation 18 and it applies to Babylon the Great. I thought it was the beast. Okay, so there we, you know, don't know everything. I thought it was the beast, but it wasn't the beast. It was Babylon the Great. Okay, that was deceiving the people through pharmacia. Now let's look at that. It's in uh, Revelation 18, 23. Okay, the second part. Your merchants were the world's important people. Oh my goodness. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? The rich, the merchants. Do you know who the merchants are? The rich, the super rich. Okay. The Gates, the Bezos, the, the other ones, okay, that make bunches of money that use humankind as slaves to get rich. So your merchants were the world's important people. By your magic spell, all the nations were led astray. And here it is, magic spell. It's not really magic spell. I think King James uses sorcery. And yes, yeah, sorcery could be magic spells, but it also includes potions. Okay? So when you go back to pharmacia, the original word, King James translated with sorcery. You know, a sorcerer uses not just spells, but also potions. They go back to this thing called alchemy. Okay? Alchemy. Not just spells. Witches don't just cast spells. They also use potions most of the time. But it goes back to really alchemy okay the alchemist is was trying to create gold from other um elements so he was mixing or tried to create synthetically gold but another thing that a lot of people don't understand or believe or know that alchemy also was looking for the fountain of youth. And they were dealing with potions. Okay? And that is what we're having today. It's not the spells. But it's mainly the potions. The sorcery, the potions. And this is what pharmacia is. Which where we had then our word pharmacy from. Okay? Pharmacia, pharmacy. Why? It's potions. It's synthetic chemical um, mixtures that are being used for human beings to supposedly help them to live longer. That's what we're having today. And this is what they're addressing here. Okay? So we're dressing here. This is what's going on today. It's been going on for a long time that this healthcare system that we're having today was developed, okay, since the Second World War. The doctors are specifically trained to be the, uh, what, priests to administer these potions. You go to the doctor, you say, oh, I have this and this symptom, and he's looking up and find the potion, synthetic potion for what's going on with you. 
They're not looking, oh, hello, maybe you don't have enough vitamin D. Or, well, maybe you should really take more vitamin C. Or maybe you should get more sleep. Okay? Or you should cut out certain things and maybe eat more uh, uh, veggie and uh, a fruit diet. I don't tell you that. They give you potions. And this idea that we will um, heal people with potions comes right out of medical school. Medical school. And here the Bible is saying, by your magic spells, all the nations were led astray. Is that where this is coming from? Babylon the Great is causing this whole thing? Just like she is causing our kids to be falsely educated, educated to obedience, so they follow the systems system and don't think, same thing with the, the medical personnel is being uh, brainwashed or conditioned to follow the system to the T. And they're using these people as guinea pigs to test their potions. So when they find a good potion, they can give it, give it to the rich, to the merchants who run the whole, whole place and get rich. They can live 90 and 100 years. And the rest, they die when they're 60 or 70 maybe. But the rich, they can live. Why? Because they reap the benefits of us being guinea pigs. They live healthy. They only get the best um, of the treatments. And we people are being fed the synthetic foods, synthetic medicine. We're the guinea pigs. And what did what does God say to all this? Well, you can read in chapter 9, uh, 18 of Revelation that this system is going to be destroyed. Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. We see clearly who Babylon the Great is. She is dressed in scarlet and what is it um i just read it a while ago um i mean you can read the whole chapter okay purple okay in uh 16 whoa whoa to you great city who is the great city people it's not rome it's the vatican okay the great city is the vatican dressed in fine linen purple and scarlet and glittering with gold, precious stones, and pearls. In one hour, such great wealth has been brought to ruin. If nobody, if you do not believe that the Vatican is the richest city, think again. Okay? And only the Vatican, the great city, you can find purple and scarlet dress. Purple and scarlet dress. Okay, people dressed in purple and scarlet and fine linen, white, fine linen, okay, with pearls and glittering gold. Where else can you see that? You don't see that in any government. People are dressing in, in, in purple and scarlet and glitter with gold and all that. You can only see that in the Vatican. So don't make any mistakes. That's what they're talking about. Babylon the Great, the Vatican. She is not the false prophet. False prophet is the beast out of the earth. Okay? The false prophet. Beast out of the earth is Babylon the Great's prophet. He is making her look good. Okay? He is uh, um, promoting her. From him come all the merchants, from, Bab, from uh, uh, the beast out of the, uh, um, the earth. That's why they're the prophets. They make her look good. 
Woe, woe to you, great city, where all who had ships on the sea became rich through her wealth. In one hour she has been brought to ruin. I have done a video about this before, but I wanted to really address this again with um, this, um, the merchants um, and the magic spells, all the nations were laid astray. Uh, were led astray. This has been happening for a long time. Somebody has been become very, very rich, filthy rich on pharmacia, on pharmaceutical things, filthy rich. You know, they were looking for years and years and years, and we paid for it, right? Cancer research, and what have they found? Nothing. Well, maybe they did find something, but not for the ordinary people, okay? Just for the rich. So the rich can live longer and longer, and we are the guinea pigs. We, they have been, uh, you know, testing on us how much uh, um, chemotherapy they can use on us, how much we can actually tolerate before we die, or the uh, um, radiation. How much radiation can we tolerate before we die. And you know people, they did that during the Third Reich in the um, in the camps, the death camps. Okay? Mengele used the, the, the people there, the Jews, to test and to use them as guinea pigs. And what are they doing after they didn't have any more guinea pigs in the, uh, you know, in the Holocaust? Well, they used the ordinary people. They used ordinary people okay us today and nobody wakes up and says wait a minute what are these guys doing are they really helping or are these people dying anyways is anybody doing some real research to find out what God uh, um, put out there to heal um, uh, cancer why in the world do we have cancer in the first place why does anybody ever do research why in the world we have cancer? Well, it should be obvious, right? We're eating the wrong things. We're putting the wrong things in our body. We're eating processed food. We're eating a, a synthetic food, in a sense. Do you remember uh, the margarine? Everybody says, oh, margarine is so good for your cholesterol. Margarine, margarine. You know, I, I was raised on margarine. Oh, no, butter is really bad for you. You should be eating margarine because it's so much better. Margarine is one step away from, um, um, what do you call it, uh, plastic. Okay, It's synthetic. It's very close to the structure of plastic. I was eating it. Okay, I, was, I grew up on it. That's what you told people. You know, and there's probably a lot more that turn out to be that same thing. We need to learn to go back to natural foods, cooking the natural way, healing the natural way. Do you know what happened with this Babylon the Great, or actually with the women that were healers? let's say during the dark ages they were helping women to bear ch i mean to um deliver children if they became too dangerous for the catholic church oh they were the the the, the, the witches they were burned to crisp because they were called witches they were the women the healers that knew about uh, uh, the herbs and the real natural things that heal and they were told oh they're the witches so yeah we could do that for years until then they came up with their synthetic way of healing people actually destroying the body and to today we are really in the extreme phase of this development yeah this extreme phase 
And who is behind it? Babylon the Great. Who's Babylon the Great? Well, come on. Who is dressed in fine linen, and purple and scarlet? Who is the great city, the Vatican? Of course, when you have listened to my other videos, you know, I was just uh, reading this book. I'm just still reading this book called The History of um, the Jesuits by Edmund Paris. And you will know that it's not just the Pope. It is today mainly the, the, the Jesuits or the Black Pope, the general of the Jesuits that runs the Catholic Church and makes sure the whole world goes back to Catholicism. Yeah, they have done this for years. Make sure that the whole world continues to bow down to Babylon the Great, the whore. Okay, of course that's why I'm shadow banned because I expose that. Because the Jesuits are in every area of our lives, including, of course, what? Media. They run everything. Our education. And, of course, our health care system. They want everybody, everybody controlled. And the health care system definitely controls people. Severely. Okay? Everybody seems to be dependent on the healthcare system. I mean, we've become slaves of the healthcare systems. And our um, doctors are willing priests of this system. They're willing priests. They go to something called the medical school and they come out with the white jackets and, you know, everybody looks at them, they, well, they know. They're the professionals. Oh, they are the scientists. They're not even scientists. All they do is they learn uh, uh, what pharma tells them. That's what they do. Okay, what are your symptoms? Okay, let me look at this up. Okay, we have this potion for it. See, there we go. Potion. This potion. We have this potion for it. Oh, what you have heart, I mean, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, blood sugar. High blood sugar. Oh, get this little potion for it. Okay, so they have the test. Okay, oh, let's test it. Oh, what do you have? Oh, yeah, 200. Wait, that's way too high for cholesterol. Your cholesterol needs to be below 200. Such an abnormal figure, but it doesn't matter as long as we get rid of our potion or pharmaceutical you know, intervention. This is what we are having today, people. And people depend on it. They depend on it because they eat the wrong food. They take this from the time they're little kids and they get this 72 times by the time they're 18. And they're pumped full of chemicals and these chemicals make them sick. And then the farmer comes and gives them a little potion to fix them. And what's the end goal? The merchants are getting rich. The people that sell this stuff, the farmer reps, get filthy rich. The doctors get filthy rich. Okay? You know, I, I, I shake my head. The doctors are supposed to be helping people and healing people. And all they're thinking about is wealth and riches. Okay? How rich they are. How filthy rich they want to become. And it's the same thing with the whole medical system. How filthy rich they can become. And what, are they really helping people? What, they're helping people get sick so they can come back and get more of the nonsense, pay more to the system that doesn't work? And we support it. We've been supporting it for years. I was just seeing a, 
a video about the uh, Amish, the Mennonite Amish. And one of the things that they cannot stand, of course, government and the medical system. And that's where I'm at right now. Okay, I'm absolutely at that point. I think the medical system is corrupt, very, very corrupt, and we pay tons and tons of money to them. Okay, that's also the um, the insurance companies, but our government has set it up because our government works, of course, for Babylon the Great. Right? And Babylon the Great rewards those who support her. And where do they get the money? From the ordinary people. From the ordinary people. Yep, I wanted to make this video about this What is it called again? Magic spells. Yeah, I don't think that's a good translation. Sorcery is probably better. Okay, King James. There's a lot of people, I don't know what the new King James is saying. Let's see what the new King James is saying. By their sorcery, all the nations were deceived. All nations were deceived by their sorcery. Okay. Look up what sorcery is, of course. Sorcery is pharmacia. What is pharmacia? Okay. Do a, I have done a, a video on that one. And who is behind it? Ooh, Babylon the Great is behind it. Wow. And who is behind Babylon the Great? Satan. Satan is behind all this. He started this whole thing. He wanted people to be dependent on the healthcare system. And now they are dependent on it and they look for saving power from this healthcare system. Save us! Oh my goodness, we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die, save us. Come on, you priests. Please save us. Give us the little potion that we need. Give us this, give us this, give us this. We need it so bad. God didn't create us wonderful. Oh no, he made mistakes made so many mistakes and he didn't create the right food for us either or the right um, way of healing do you know what during the millennium do you know what's healing us during the millennium leaves from a tree oh where is that where's that well look up revelation um Let's see, I think it's 21. It's either, tw no, I think it's probably 10, 21. Okay. That the leaves of these two trees heal the nations. And I don't know, uh, again, hey, look it up. Okay. I don't have the time right now. Well, let me stop the video and then I'll find It's actually, um, Revelation 22, 2. Okay, all you have to put in uh, the leaves of the trees are the healing healing of the nations. Okay, so go Revelation 22, 2. That's what's healing us during, or the human beings. I will be, I don't, I will not be a human being during that time. I will have a new body, a different body. I will not be human anymore. But the humans that are left on this earth, they'll be healed with leaves from trees. Now, you don't tell me that God does not know how to heal people naturally. He doesn't depend on little potions. Okay? Sorcery. Hocus pocus stuff. 
that don't even work. Really. Really, this nonsense that they give us is healing us? Did chemotherapy or radiation ever heal anybody? Or did they really heal naturally? Well, they say it did. But didn't it, did it maybe cause more harm than good? If we would have treated them with natural stuff, would they not have healed just as much? How many times uh, give up doctors and they can't help cancer patients and the people go to somebody that heals them naturally and they survive? Happens all the time. No, I don't trust this healthcare system anymore. They have not shown to me that they can actually do anything well. All they want is money, money. It is unbelievable what they charge for procedures. If you do not realize how corrupt this system is, well, you deserve to die with it. It's all I'm going to say. You deserve to die with it because that's exactly what's going to happen pretty soon. I'm coming to an end right now. People, read your Bible. Read Revelation 17 and 18 and learn about Babylon the Great because people are still very confused. They're still waiting for this Antichrist to come. Luther said that Babylon the Great is the Antichrist. Okay, that's what he said. Of course, that word Antichrist is really not an end times ruler anyways. But watch some of my other videos. I explained very well who this beast out of the sea is. It's not Antichrist. No, Antichrist, if anybody's Antichrist or the man of sin, it's Babylon the Great. Okay? But you need to wake up and only seek the truth. Only seek the truth or else people will blind you and deceive you. And especially our healthcare system. Let the Holy Spirit guide you always.